Hi guys, hope you're doing great. I'm going to show you something very interesting today. But let me quickly bring up the basic debate. People tend to compare between Articulate Storyline and Adobe Captivate and they try to figure out which one is a better tool. In my view, both of these tools are backed by some of the biggest uh, companies and the best of the engineers so definitely these tools are bound to be great but like other things in life you know each tool has its own pros and cons and it much depends on what your use case is so if whatever tool that fits well into your use case is the right tool however what I thought just for fun let me go to Google Trends and see how people are searching about these tools because the pattern in which something is being searched has some story to tell for people who don't know google trends it's a site uh, where you can see how people are searching on various keywords where these queries are coming from it's a very interesting thing so without much ado let me go ahead and type in articulate storyline Okay, it's loading. We see a graph over here, but we will have more fun when we add and compare it with some other term like Adobe Captivate. Like they say, each graph has you know a lot of stories to tell. Um, it could lead you, it could mislead you. So I'm just trying to enjoy the trend and uh, just read my mind and you know you look at it you may you may agree to some parts disagree but that's that's the fun of our discussion so this first trend is about interest over time um, the red line that you see belongs to captivate and the blue one belongs to storyline so the way I see the story is that um, around year 2006 is when you know people were searching just about captivate and it was pretty much there on the ground uh, up until 2012 I guess that is where maybe uh, this is the start point for storyline and as you can see storyline has been seeing uh, on an average a northward trend um, when, you, when you look at um, Captivate it is definitely uh, been there for long so um, it has that kind of a trend but then you see it definitely coming down it's like going southwards um, interesting is that you know even in the in the last part of the graph uh, it seems quite a mirror image uh, you know both of these uh, searches are going down um, so that's that's interesting to see well uh, we don't want to get into paralysis by analysis so let me move over to another interesting section which looks at the regional interest it it tells you that you know these keywords are being triggered from which countries in uh, where are these people who are searching you know and how do they how, how are they statistically distributed so when it comes to our trade storyline you see that uh, most of your searches are coming from Australia, Canada, India followed by United States and United Kingdom and when you look at Adobe Captivate um, quite, quite quite interesting to see that you know on top of the charts you see Thailand hmm, Iran Australia, United States, Canada um, interesting trend because um, seems to be that um, unlike what I may have thought um, the battle is not bit, not starting on Australia United States um, but Thailand and Iran are on top of the of, of the chart quite interesting well um, you can go to Google Trends you can try out you know and see few more patterns that you may find interesting you may share it with us but um, that is where I will end this video um, I hope you enjoyed 
looking at these graphs and you have your own theories around what the trend may be so keep thinking keep debating thanks a lot bye bye